list of new euphemisms. The first one is Wubutu. It's what have you been up to every time you see someone you have never met for a long it's time? It's quite old actually, but it's making a comeback. Go on. Um, a new one is Wubu 4, which is Wubutu squared. It's a more distant Wubutu, if you haven't seen someone in a really long time. Mm. And then you have something called Gourjois, if you're gorgeous and bourgeois, like a British singer called Chloe Howell, where you see in East London a lot, she's so gourgeois. Um, there's also Yolo fever, which is like the illness, yellow fever, but it's about, I don't know, spontaneity. Absolutely. And only living once, Oloing. Yeah. Then you have Quiche, of course, from this TV show, I won't say which. It's like if you're hot enough that everybody wants to F you and you have like three fingers between your thighs, so you're skinny and you're so quiche, quiching out. Then there's also overcompensating, which is like over overcompensating. Um, if your boyfriend thinks you're pissed off at him and he goes down on you more than usual, that's overcompensating. And then hashtag Yoso, because everybody is on Tinder and it says you only swipe once, because if you accidentally left swipe someone, you're never going to see them again. Um, and then there's procrastinating, <laughs> Procrastur- procrastinating, which is procrastinating and masturbating. See you soon.